Hi, my name is Justin Moss and it's really cold out here right now. So I'm gonna make this as quick as I possibly can. So I'm a junior here at Point University and I am currently in love with the school. Um, it's been an incredible journey the past three years and I can't say that I regret any part of it. Um, this being my third year, I've had a lot of really cool opportunities to not only be a part of Point University, but also be a part of several different teams. And one of the really cool opportunities outside of the school was this past summer I got to go to Rugby England and I um, spent two months serving in youth ministry. Now this doesn't mean that I was a youth minister. Uh, I did work with a church for a little while, but we also did stuff outside of the church. We were in schools every week teaching lessons. Um, we did different weekend community events. We traveled with the, the different teenagers in the community and we did do some youth work. So we went on a, a hiking trip in Snowdonia we, um, we spent five days in Yorkshire for a Christian conference. I mean, we did a lot of really cool stuff. But the craziest thing was that the, the trip I went on, I had two teammates. Two teammates that I'd never known, that never met, didn't know anything about until five days before we left. So we did some training, we got to know each other as best as we could, and we were on our way. The, the, the great thing about it was that we actually worked really well as a team. The, the purpose wasn't for us to fall in love with each other, the purpose was for us serve the people in the community and we did that we were able to find ways to operate best within each other's um, abilities each other's qualities and and use them in ways that we didn't even realize that we could and it was one of the most incredible experiences I've ever seen been a part of in my entire life another really cool thing that I get to do is this house this beautiful white house um, there's seven of us who live here now all seven of us have different schedules all seven of us have different needs and all seven of us have different interests which means that it's really difficult to live together but the cool thing is that every day we wake up we have to figure out how to live together we have to figure out what works in our schedule and what doesn't and we also get to find ways to better operate we get to serve each other we get to love on each other and we just get to live together and it's really incredible so some of the things i'm passionate about well, i love sports football soccer baseball, ultimate frisbee, those are just a few. Um, but I also love people, so I love hanging out with people. Uh, you know, going to Columbus for a weekend, going to Atlanta for a weekend, um, finding a state park to explore, kayaking, things like that, outdoor stuff, uh, especially when other people are involved, surprise. Um, another thing I'm really passionate about though is like working with youth, so youth ministry. Now the past three years, college, from freshman year until now, so all three years, I have been working with um, Spring Road Christian Church's youth group. So I've been a youth volunteer. Um, I'm actually this year I've been elevated to middle school boys small group leader. But I, I just I'm so passionate about that. Um, working with youth kids is just so much fun. It's so incredible, um, and they just need so much influence. Uh, it's such a plastic um, time of their lives where their their minds, their spirits, and everything is just kind of growing. I mean, obviously you have puberty and their bodies are changing, but outside of that. Um, and inside of them, there's just so much transition, so much growth, and so much separation. Uh, this is a really important time where like, kids become adults and the fact that they kind of separate from their parents. They start thinking, believing, um, creating their own ideas. And um, that, that's, that's so important just for them to have huge, you know, even if it's small stuff, just really important to have like mentors and people who will guide them and direct them and love on them and just be there for them. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be this the person that's like telling them how to live their life, but just being involved with them, that makes such a huge difference and I love doing that. Um, I, I plan on doing that for the rest of my life, in fact. Uh, I, I'm hoping that being here at Point, getting a counseling degree um, will help me to become you know, a better facilitator of the Spirit of the Lord, uh, a facilitator of growth, a facilitator of maturity and the fact that I can take what I've learned here, take what I've learned in my life experiences, and um, go throughout the world and just love on kids, love on you know the people who need love and the people who already have love, um, any and all. And and the reason for that is because you know the Lord's called me to something way way bigger than myself, um, something that I would never be able to accomplish on my own, and it's through His Spirit that I can do that. But just being a presence in their lives, being a mentor in uh, youth's lives, teenagers' lives, uh, middle school and high school alike, so that way they can find Christ in their lives, that they can grow in Him, and they can become better stewards of His Word, His love, and uh, again, return that to, to future generations, to their peers.
online to everyone around them. Having been a student who lived on campus and a student who lived off campus, I've had both experiences. So I know what it's like to be in both places. Uh, my family's also been in the area my entire life, all 21 years that I've been alive. So I know the area really well. And the cool thing about knowing the area and being a part of both on-campus living and off-campus living is I know what it's like to be a point student in all areas. Uh, I know what life is like when you can walk across the, the breezeway and there's someone, four other people living in the apartment next to you. And I know what it's like having to drive where to go see your friends. Uh, I know where things are in West Point. I know where things are in Valley. I know where things are in Lynette. And I also know what life's like as a point student inside of the school. This being my third year as a junior, I've been able to experience a lot, meet a lot of people, and work with a lot of people. Uh, I work in alumni relations, so I get to see what alumni life is like. I get to experience what our former students were like. Um, and I know what their relationships and their experiences are. Uh, being a CLM last year, I got to experience it, what it was like to see people come into the school, to witness what it's like to mentor to new students, and to pour into their lives in ways that I didn't even know I could. And also, being a commuter has given me the experience to see what it's like to not be a part of normal point life, to be outside of the normal, to be outside of the walls of those apartments down in Valley. So it's been a really cool experience and I've had a lot of opportunity to just see what life is like as a point student and experience it from all facets, all sides and all angles. Because of all the experiences I've had in life, both serving across the globe and now serving here locally, I've been able to grow myself in a lot of areas, both as a team player and as an individual. I know I can be a good leader and I know I'm a motivator. And the cool thing is, I know how to find ways to use other people's strengths to benefit the team. Now, I'm not the perfect specimen, no one is. But if I'm a part of the PR team this summer, I know I can bring a lot to the team. I'll be able to push people in positive ways and I'll be able to motivate people when the going gets tough. And the cool thing is, the team is all about every member, not just one member. While traveling the world this summer, Experiencing the incredible things I did in England, the one thing I can say I've walked away with and have allowed myself to learn and understand better is that if you can't support your team members, then you can't allow your team members to flourish and use their abilities in the way that they know best. You'll never succeed. And that's what I think I can bring best to the team, is the ability to utilize every team member in the way that they know how best to work.